Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. And as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to meet Miss Piggy. Many of you have asked me to do a once over on Miss Piggy, so I thought I'd do that. Actually, I did do that last week, but the audio, the microphone crapped out after about nine seconds of audio, and I had nothing. Hopefully this time we'll get the audio. Now let's check it out. Miss Piggy is a 2003 FLSTF fat boy. Her and I have been on many trips together from Pennsylvania to Florida to Kentucky and everywhere in between. She is dirty. She does need a bath. My garage is a mess. My kid just moved home from college. And we got a whole bunch of hardwood floors in here that we're getting ready to install. So, excuse the shop. So, starting from the front. Has the stock headlight, which we did put aftermarket trim rings on. Also put passing lamps on Miss Piggy. And when I did this, it was back in 2004. The turn signals, which are now located here, originally were mounted up under the mirrors they would have been right about here on the handlebars i didn't like them up there i decided i wanted them down here like a heritage or a road king well at that time they didn't really have the conversion kit to mount the turn signals under here so we went to lowe's and we got this 3 8 inch threaded nut we got some half inch threaded because it's a half inch acorn cap here and it's a 3 8 inch shaft that comes out of the passing lamp. So we took half inch stock, ground down this end, threaded it, put it up inside here and put the other end. We screwed on the turn signal to the bottom and made our own adapter kit. We drilled a hole in the back of it so we could pull the wire for power to the passing lamp out and then put some silicone in there to seal up the hole. It does have grommets here for a windshield. However, as you can tell from the windshield, it has not been used in probably a decade plus. So we, do, we did add the passing lamps to it. Uh, the front end short of that is pretty well stock. I still have the original stock rim on there. It needs to be cleaned and polished. We did put some Wild One Chevy 16 inch apes on it. That is what's on there. We also replaced the black with chrome for the master cylinder, the master reservoir. We also got rid of the black switch covers. I still do. I like the black switches. I didn't want to do the chrome switches. I like the black switches against the chrome cover because it kind of goes with the anniversary color black and silver paint job. Everything on the tank is stock. It did replace this about a year ago from my good friend Andrew got me that from one of our brothers out in Arizona Schmied we did put the Biltwell aftermarket grips on there with a Gro Go Cruise cruise control which I really like I really enjoy that so that's kind of the front end of Miss Piggy down for controls Back in 2004, when the flames were the big popular thing, I did get the floorboards and brake. Also put this Kiriak in, you know, in, on a fat boy. There wasn't much of a choice. You either put a crash bar on and then put foot pegs for highway pegs off the crash bar, or you buy a mustache bar, which comes across. I didn't really like either of those. This Kiriak and mount mounts to the bottom of my floorboard. I absolutely love that. It is so, so comfortable. We have replaced the cams. Uh, inside there is, I think it's a 585. It's a SNS cam. It's a gear drive cam. So we've eliminated the chain and the cam shoes and replaced it with a gear drive cam. We did put an Arlen Ness uh, big sucker on it in this cover. It was actually a Sportster cover off one of my buddy's sporties. He had a, a 72 Sportster and we and he took his old air cover off and I put it on Miss Piggy here. Uh, the exhaust is a Samson exhaust that has probably been on there probably at least for 80,000 miles. And it still looks, I mean, short of needing a bath, it's still pretty shiny and looking pretty good. The chrome is in great shape. The only discoloration I have is on, on the tip there, a little bit of gold color here, but short of that, uh, it has held up great. The engine 
uh, is no longer in 88. In 2009, when the cams took a dump the first time, because the cams took a dump now twice, the first time it, it had problems was the bearing on the case side. And when the bearing went out in the case side from the cams spinning inside there, it just destroyed the case. So the engine pulled out, sent back to Harley for the Harley engine swap program. It came back as a 95 cubic inch. Uh, the second time the cams took a dump, it the Harley bearing blew out on the cam plate side. So I put a new cam plate, new oil pump, new lifters, new push rods, obviously new cam, all new S and S bearings. And I think that's eliminated a lot of the problems that, I mean, th that thing in this model year, they say change the bearings every 30 to 40,000 miles. I say that holds true. The first time I took a dump was at 55,000 miles. And then again, 40,000 miles later, almost to the mile, it, it went out the second time. I still have the stock five-speed transmission. Uh, I have the matching passenger pegs that match the front. Also on a trip to Chattanooga, Tennessee with Mrs. Yogi, uh, I do have a Mustang seat on here and it has the, the thick passenger pad that she usually rides with, with a Harley OEM sissy bar that goes in here, but we'll get to that in a minute with a pad. But she wanted a place where she can move her feet from this position. She wanted more like old school chopper style where she can put her feet up higher and kind of kick back and lay back. So we found these up at uh, the Chattanooga Harley dealer. Uh, that's a Kiriakin part, I believe. We put those on probably in 2005 also. Uh, most all modifications to this bike were done in 2005. It's pretty much been stock or it's pretty much been done since 2005. Now the sissy bar, that was added about 2015. My buddy Daniel McLeod out of Florida handmade that and had it powder coated. It does need to be re-powder coated. It's, it's got some chips on it from road use and some wear, but I, I took the stock side plates of the old sissy bar and um, Took that out and and put this one as place when mama yogi goes for a ride I'll, I'll take this out i didn't get new side plates yet i need to do that and then uh i'll swap out the sissy bar that way she has something something a little bit more comfy than metal bars to lay against um turn signals i hated the stock fat boy turn signals they have uh you wind up having to take the guts out and there's a nut that tightens up here so there's one joint here there's a second joint here and then like the nut on the inside. So it was really hard to get these tight and get them pointed the right direction. This is all one piece with a nut that screws on the end. This is actually metric LED turn signals. Right, let me turn this on. But they're metric LED turn signals. And you can, maybe can't tell on the camera, but they're pretty darn bright. And they were 20 bucks and they were used. Heck yeah, all about 20 bucks and used. So we have replaced those and I'm much happier with these on there. Uh, the back end still pretty stock. As I said, I do run a, a Mustang seat. It does have a spot where I can put a driver's backrest in here, which is really awesome because let's face it, when you get lazy and you're used to riding on a bagger with a big front bat wing on the front and you go to this bike and you're trying to do 80, 90 miles an hour with no fairing on it. Yeah, it's like doing a massive crunch for like an hour or two. So the backrest is a really nice change that really takes a lot of pressure off of your core. Now, some of you asked, you've seen me put this on a year ago. I put this swing arm saddlebag on a year ago. And honestly, uh, it has really held up well. I really like it. It's kept its form. It's not sagged. It's done a really good job. I, I really enjoy it. You can't fit much in there like a ball cap, and that's about it. Uh, as far as the primary, everything is still stock in there with the exception of the chain tensioner. I did replace that with a Hayden chain tensioner. Now it does have a leak currently. If you remember, I replaced all the seals in a year ago with James gaskets. Let me tell you, I really don't like the James gaskets. I mean, look at the leak on there. They are horrible. So I have bought all new Harley gaskets. I do need to put a new rubber on the back. So when I pull off the back wheel to replace the rubber, I'm going to pull the primary off at the same time. That's coming in an upcoming video. And again, matching floorboards and shifter pegs on this side. 
still a stock horn. Everything else is pretty much still stock on this side of the bike. But there's a quick once over. I do have a new tire sitting here waiting. Yeah, I just bought a Shinko. I didn't buy anything special. I don't. I, I still ride Miss Piggy, but I don't ride it like I used to. Oh, one thing I did forget on this side, because I was getting oil dripping on on the cam here. I did put, it's kind of like a catch cam, but instead of catching it, I did do a video on this not too long ago. I have it zip tied down to the frame. I haven't really seen anything drip off there. And one last thing is if my starter switch goes out, I do have a backup to get Miss Piggy started. You probably can't see it, but right here is a push button start on the end of the starter. I do have a push button backup that I can use on the end of the starter. I went through this a little faster than I did the first time, but you get the point. So that's kind of the upgrade over the years of what I've done with Miss Piggy. I did, uh, did take off the Harley stock mirrors. You saw that in a video not too long ago. I got inspired by Ozark's Rider HD. I got inspired by him on his Sucker Punch Sally. And he has that sweet little circular mirror on his Sucker Punch Sally. And I was like, oh man, I love that. So I wound up getting it for Miss Piggy here too. I do have the aftermarket uh, braided cables when I replace the handlebars. These are probably 15 years old too. If you look, the, the braiding on it or the plastic coating on the braiding is kind of worn out and not doing so well. It's probably time for a new clutch cable. This clutch cable probably has probably close to 80,000 miles on it. So I'm anticipating it breaking any ride now. <laughs> um, one thing we're gonna do today, I got some new headlights. So stay tuned for that video. You can see they're just regular bulbs. Honestly, I kind of like that. For me, it was kind of nostalgic, but I will say this. On a trip back from Fayetteville last fall, coming home, I couldn't see crap. I couldn't see anything. I mean, I was running the back roads and it was just like, it was bad. So we got this. So here's a sneak peek for an upcoming video. XP CTD auxiliary lamps and LED headlight kit. There's one lamp, two lamps, and the headlight. So we are actually gonna put those on here in a minute and film that as another video. Love that bike. Let's see how many miles are on it real quick and then we'll close. I don't know if you can see that or not. 104,371. Not bad. So thank you for joining us on this tour of Miss Piggy. It's been a great bike. I couldn't ask for better. The original belt, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Just replaced the belt drive last year. There was a video out about that too. That belt was only replaced probably three or 4,000 miles ago. And underneath we have uh, two progressive shocks, the adjustable heavy duty progressive shocks. Those were replaced about a year ago as well. So suspension has been upgraded, things coming down the pike. I do have a little bit of an oil leak coming out of here and a little bit coming out of the back. So we're gonna have to do a little maintenance on the rocker boxes. That's coming up in future videos. Also, we're gonna put new progressive springs and we're gonna wet sand down these forks and try to clean them up. That's coming in a future video, plus replacing all the seals in the primary and changing the back tire. So, so that, those are some of the things that are coming down the pike for Miss Piggy, but sure of that, man. Love the paint job, love the bike, she's been great. And there you go, Yogi Clan. There's your tour of Meet Miss Piggy. I appreciate you guys joining, watching this video. Thank you for all your support. If you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Hey man, surf around, check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, mash that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, y'all. Love you guys. Peace.